All right, I got, uh, well, I still got to take it out. I got the coupler in there. I have the two halves of it. Um, that's the vent hole to let the uh, air out as the molten aluminum flows in. And uh, that one will be the feeder hole where I'm going to pour the aluminum into. So uh, now I'm going to remove remove the, uh, the coupler and uh, hopefully everything doesn't cave in and if everything does not cave in then I will be pouring, putting in the uh, two halves back together and uh, pouring in the good stuff. Uh, once again I had to improvise a bit. Uh, just decided to do open casting, made it as deep as I could. So, uh, see how it turns out. Now, I used a little copper pipe to take the placeholder of the open bit. And of course, it didn't take the entire space of it, so I will just drill that out once it's cool. See how hot that is. Still about three hundred there. At three eighty five, making sure I'm not melting this thing. Still over three hundred, so that's going to be sitting for a little while. Uh, well, we'll see how it turns out. Um, I have a feeling the underside here should turn out looking pretty good. So, the copper pipe would be right here, going down. I'm going to have to drill that out a little long longer and uh, see what I get. And uh, I mean this is it's kind of fun being able to cast stuff. And on the other hand I also think I might have the wrong kind of sand for what I'm trying to do. My problem is I was able to do the mold perfect problem was the sand no matter what I do keeps sticking to the part um, I was read that you could use talc powder and so I finally tried it again using talc powder which I just picked up some dollar store baby powder um, but then when I had the top and the bottom parts of it um, I couldn't get I couldn't get the sand to stay in in the tray it kept wanting to stay down every time I took the tray away um, tray would come up, but the square sand would uh, box of sand would stay on top, which kind of defeats the purpose. So, repurposed Chinese engine block now turned into an American made coupler. See how it turns out. Personally, I could care less for what it looks like as long as it works. These suckers are expensive. <laughs>